I'm Rachel from the Lark's Head Shop and today I'm going to teach you the three versions of the clove hitch knot, otherwise known as the double half hitch. So there are three ways you can tie this knot. You can tie it horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. And the method is pretty much the same. You're just going in a different direction each time and that can kind of trip people up a bit. So I'm going to really break it down in this video step by step and it should make things a lot easier. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to create a horizontal double half hitch or otherwise known as clove hitch knot. So for any of these, we are going to pick a lead cord that's not going to be doing any of the actual knotting. It's just going to dictate the direction that our line is going to uh, go. So I'm going to pick this outermost cord as my lead cord and we want it to go in this direction so I'm just going to kind of hold it in place if it does make it easier for you you could even loop it around and just kind of tie it off to the side just because it'll make it a little bit easier if you don't have to hold on to the cord so and it'll teach you not to actually mess with it and just to let it stay in place while you do the work with all the other cords anyway uh so we'll start with our first half hitch knot so i'm going to pick my first string and we're going to toss it over and through pulling it to the left hand side we're halfway done now we're going to just repeat that same exact thing so it's going to go over and then through, pulling it nice and tight. So we're just gonna repeat that same step. So it's going to go over and then through the loop, pulling it nice and tight, over and then through the loop. As you can see, we're starting to take the shape of a horizontal line. Okay, now that is our horizontal half hitch. Okay, next up is going to be our diagonal half hitch. And we are going to start this one in a very similar way, picking a lead cord, except in this case, we're going to have our lead cord go in a diagonal angle and you can kind of pick and choose the angle that you want it to sit at. I just want like a nice clean, about a 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna hold it kind of in place with this hand while I loop our cords around the same exact way. So it's going to go over and then through the loop over and through the loop as you can see the lead cord isn't moving at all i'm just holding it in place with my other hand and we're just gonna keep on moving through piece by piece until you can see the diagonal line forming perfect now we have a completed diagonal half hitch line and our final version of the double half hitch slash cove hitch knot is the vertical. And so for the vertical, we are going to bring in another string. And so this one is a little bit tricky just cause you're kind of working from an angle. Basically you're going to leave a little bit on this end and have the majority of the string on the right hand side. Now you're going to loop it around and over the top, pulling the string through. So right now we just have a very loose loop going on and you're going to loop it around and through the center one more time, just pulling it nice and tight on both sides. There we are. So that is your first vertical clove hitch knot. 
We're gonna repeat the same thing with this next string. So this string is becoming our lead chord that's not actually doing any of the work. We are going to loop it over and up. And I'm gonna kind of use my hand to push the first loop up to where I want it to go. We're gonna loop it through one more time. There we go. And then use your hand and your fingers to kind of tighten it up and make sure it looks how you want it to look. Just repeat that process. Okay, and there you have it. You have all three versions of the half hitch knot, otherwise known as the clove hitch knot. And I hope this video was helpful. Hey, thanks for joining today. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos and tutorials, then you can hit the subscribe button and you can also hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted every time I have a new video. Hitch knot, otherwise known as the diagonal. Damn it, what do I always say diagonal? Cut. <laughs> Five. Cut. Okay, Josh. <laughs>